as a guest, not really become a member to stand on the stage to speak, except a few times to give an impromptu speech. I didn't come to every Toastmaster meeting though. Whenever I come, I saw Lester, who stood on the stage leading the welcome song. And the way he sang and prayed would always calm me down and make me feel relaxed. And also remind me of how grateful I should be. And here's Iris, our club president, who is always so loved and so warm, so considerate, like mom. And also here's Paul, the focal man, who is always so energetic and so so positive and, all, and can always give me so many advice. And then we have Eric Ma. No, I don't. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our funny guy. <laughs> the most humorous prize every single meeting. <laughs> yeah, so it was all because of those wonderful people that made me feel energized after Toastmasters meetings and made me feel, feel refreshed. And for me, I feel like this place is like an escape for me from what I'm worried about. And through speeches the members give on the stage, and also through those small talks I have, I had with with others, always made me feel better because I know I do not walk alone. Somehow there always be someone has been through the same experience as me, or even a more difficult one. So this is really an escape for me, and that's why. After four years, I decided to become a member and stand on stage to speak again. <laughs> and make a callback. And this is what Emily, my twin sister, has shared her story about how she knew Paul and how she knew Toastmasters. I have my story as well, so I'm going to share with you. Back in 2014, at that time, I was a freshman in university, and I was a member of the Da Toastmasters. And Jenny Zhang, she's not here, but during that time, she was the VPPR, Vice President of Public Relationship, and I, I was the deputy of VPPR. And one time, we two we went club visiting to Microsoft Toastmasters. And at that day, I was so excited because imagine what, who will go to Microsoft Toastmasters? Those engineers, right? <laughs> Huge, yeah. <laughs> so I remember that day, I sit class in the morning, and Jenny and I, we two, we, we went to Microsoft Lab Building. And guess what? That is the place where I met Ha Lester. Because at that day, Lester was invited to be the general evaluator, right? I think it's an evaluator. Oh. Uh, evaluator, yeah. yeah. And after the meeting, Lester came to me and invited me to go to TGIF Toastmasters. But during that time, I didn't take that seriously. I was like, yeah, sure, I'll give it a try. But the other voice in my head like, Come on, who else want to go to a meeting at Friday night, right? <laughs> so soon, I forgot the name of that Toastmasters. I just know it was at Friday night. But it was not until Emily dragged me into TJF Toastmasters because she didn't want to go here alone that I realized that actually Paul and Lester are from the same club called <laughs> TGIF. <laughs> so, you see, somehow it is all connected together. Emily met Paul and I met Lester. And because Emily is my twin sister, so we are now all in this TGIF family. And 
I've been so blessed to come here and to know so many wonderful people that are able to guide me and give me some advice. Take that for example because I was because of my stupidness and my carefulness that I missed the chance to go to the US and to be an exchange student. During that time, I was so upset, but that's what came to me and said, you know, God has a special plan for you. And Paul just said, why don't you make a comeback? You can always yeah, yeah. apply it next year. So I always feel so blessed to be able to, to come here and learn from so many wonderful people. And Toastmasters has told me to embrace those uncertainties. And to also keep this Toastmasters spirit to make a comeback. Hey, hey, hey. And here I am, as a member again, I'm ready to make a comeback. Hey, hey.